Hey everyone, Mike Scan here, Senior Pastor of Epic Life Church in Terrell, Texas. And I want to welcome you to a three-minute Thursday where we take three minutes or less and look at subjects and topics of the Bible. Today, I want to talk about the word blessed. What does it mean when God says that you will be blessed or that these blessings will come upon you? Here's the thing, man, this is a great word. But before we get started, don't forget to uh, share this video if you haven't done so already. Like the page and hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time a new video comes out. It's been a minute since I've talked to you guys. I've had a lot of summer activities going on, but uh, I'm back. And with that, I want to tell you how you can live a life of blessing. The Bible says in Deuteronomy, chapter 28 beginning in verse uh, 1 it says now if you listen obediently to the voice of Adonai your God and take care to do all of his commandments that I'm commanding you today that Adonai your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth then all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you listen to the voice of Adonai your God so what does it mean to be blessed the word blessed actually deal is dealing with favor that God's favor that God will speak well of a person who makes the decision to obey his commandments the first the first doorway to that is a relationship with Jesus right and so that's the first thing we got to believe in Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus our Messiah and follow after him then by doing that we enter into a completely different covenant with God and a covenant of blessing God wants to bless his people the thing Thing is he had we, we the blessing is received by doing things his way and not our way and that is by obedience to his command the flip side of that coin is even scarier if you go down in verse 28 and look at verse 15 watch what he says he says but if you will not listen to the voice of Adonai your God to take care to do all of his commandments and statutes that I'm commanding you this day then all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. In this kingdom that we currently live in, in the earth realm, and in, you know, there are curses. The Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. Because we live in a broken and fallen world, there are curses. But God's desire is not for you to walk in those curses. God's desire and plan is for you to walk in his blessing. But how do we do that? By obedience to his command. When you make the choice, when I make the choice to shake off the things of this world and put our eyes and attention on Jesus, Yeshua, as our Lord and King and follow his commands, we put ourselves in a place where God can bless us. But again, the opposite is true. If we make the decision to not follow the Father, then we place ourselves in a place of the curse. Not because God is mean and vengeful, but because God has written down in his word, a law and the law says if you do this then blessing follows but if you do this curses follow I hope that you will choose Jesus today I hope you will put your eyes and your attention and your focus on Jesus Christ the Messiah and when you do that and you obey his commands watch out because you're putting yourself now in a place to be blessed I love you I hope you do have a very blessed week God bless you Shalom until next time